September 21, 2012. This is Justice Dunder Cheap in Fredericton, New Brunswick. I just want to read a little section of what I read to the in court today regarding um, bylaw matter T4, section 16, riding on the sidewalk of the bicycle. I just want to point out some quotes that were brought to the judge's attention, Judge Mary Jane Richards. And I'll read it. It says, according to section 12.2 of the Provincial Offenses Procedure Act, SNB 1987, proceedings in respect to the offenses charged in ticket procedures commence when the notice of prosecution is filed with the judge. According to section 12.1 of the Provincial Offenses Procedures Act, unless payment of a fixed penalty is made in accordance with section 14, within the time stated in the ticket, notice of prosecution shall be filed with the judge no later than the date stated in the ticket for the defendant's appearance. According to Section 16.1 of the Provincial Offenses Procedures Act, where the defendant has not paid a fixed penalty before the time stated in the ticket for payment of fixed penalty and does not appear in court at the time and place stated in the ticket, the judge shall examine the notice of prosecution and if the notice of prosecution contains the certificate referred to in subsection 2, the judge shall, subject to subsection 3, convict the defendant and impose a fine in the amount of the fixed penalty set out in the ticket. According to Section 16.2 of the Provincial Offenses Procedures Act, the certificate on a notice of prosecution shall be in prescribed form, shall be signed, and shall state a that a person signing the certificate delivered personally to the defendant the ticket to which the notice of prosecution corresponds, and that b the ticket was in prescribed form and was completed in the same manner as the notice of prosecution. According to Section 16.3 of the Provincial Offenses Procedures Act, the judge shall not convict the defendant if a. the judge has reason to believe that the certificate on the notice of prosecution is inaccurate, or b. the notice of prosecution contains a defect and the defect cannot be cured under Section 106. Now, according to Section 106, Subsection 5, the Provincial Offenses Procedures Act, no curing of a defect under Section 4 shall be permitted if a. the defect was such as to mislead the defendant, b. substantial injustice would be caused to the defendant by curing the defect, and c. the injustice that would be caused to the defendant by curing the defect cannot be overcome by granting of an adjournment. Now when you think about what I just read, pursuant to and according to Section 106, 106 subsection 5, filing an information instead of a notice of prosecution would 1. Number 1. Mislead the defendant. It's the wrong procedure. Completely the wrong procedure. Number 2. Substantial injustice would be caused if the court overlooks that, the fact that no notice of prosecution was issued at the time of the ticket being served. The notice of prosecution was not filed according to the Act in prescribed form, and the notice of prosecution was never filed with the court before the date of the first appearance, as required by Section 12.1 of Provincial Offenses Procedures Act. Consequentially, the injustice that would be caused to the defendant by curing the defect cannot be overcome by granting of an adjournment. The information document should be withdrawn because it does not, it is completely the wrong form for this procedure and the matter should be dismissed in its entirety. Further, the court should not convict the defendant according to the conditions as set out under Section 16.3 of the Provincial Offenses Procedures Act. Now that was read to the, uh, the court on the record and that's just an excerpt of some of the many things that were stated on the record today at the hearing and it's just amazing that the judges do not know the law, the, the police do not know the law, the prosecutors do not know the law and how did they all miss this thing and it was even asserted and on the record that it's ne this part of the act is never followed yet this is the very part of the act that deals with tickets and ticket procedure. This is a Provincial Offenses Procedures Act. This is where the court gains its jurisdiction to deal with bylaw matters. It's pretty simple. 
if the procedure is not started correctly, the court has no jurisdiction to do anything. And for it to be stated on the record that they just never follow proper procedure, it's just um, amazing. Just because you haven't done it before and everyone else has gone along or agree with it doesn't mean that I am agreeing. I've put it on the record. I do not consent to that. I'm not agreeing to go along with improper procedure. So, the judge has to deal with the uh, constitutional issues, the improper procedural issues, and then on top of that, the fact that the testifying officer, his story, actually spells out an event. It creates an event whereby he did not actually see the individual who, who he tackled off the bicycle actually commit any offense whatsoever. And the only reason the individual went onto the sidewalk is because he... Constable David Beck came roaring up behind the individual in a marked police car with allegedly sirens going and lights flashing and then questions why the individual pulled off the road onto the sidewalk. And then, then as a consequence, wants to give a $50 ticket to the individual for riding on the sidewalk with a bicycle. It's just uh, amazing. It's like a make work project. Oh look, that individual got out of the way for his own safety. Now let's Give him a ticket for doing that. All right, well, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. It's just a Dunder Cheap in Fredericton, New Brunswick. In front of Fredericton City Hall, watching the traffic go by while shooting this video. So many people go by without helmets, without bells in their bike, riding on the sidewalk, <laughs> and they're not accosted by the police. So... Maybe there's some other motivation for them coming after me. Could be this blog. Maybe I'm speaking a bit too loudly. Alright, thank you all for listening. Have a great day. Fair to New Brunswick.